Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wednesday night edition of Inside the Headset. We're going to kick it off in Alabama, and I'm going to talk to the head coach of the Florence Falcons. Um, he beat Spartan, and uh, we're going to talk to him, and that was in the rain. And I've got on with me the head coach of the Falcons, head coach Will Hester. How you doing? Doing great, Stuart. Well, talk to us a little bit about your game Friday night and uh, just take us through that, and then um, we'll get to the second chapter. Absolutely. So the 7-1, uh, 7th uh, ranked uh, Sparkman uh, Senators came to Brawley Stadium on a rainy night uh, with uh, second place in the region on the line, and uh, the Florence Falcons were able to take care of business and get a 26-9 to win on a rainy night. And um, just out of curiosity, I mean, where does that fit as far as you making, you know, your, you, of course, uh, everybody else has to play uh, Friday night. But where does that put you as far as being challenged as you get ready to go into the playoffs? Do you feel like, you know, that was a good game for you, Coach Hester? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that was a challenging game for us, uh, you know, as well as playing Brentwood Academy earlier in the year and James Clemens and some other Muscle Shoals, some other teams like that. Uh, prepare, got us prepared for the playoffs, and now we got to play those Birmingham schools that everybody talks so much about. Uh, the only difference is this time they get to travel to us instead of us getting on the bus and headed to the two hours south. Uh, and, and talk about your next opponent, and uh, that would be uh, that you said that would be Mountain Brook. Yes, sir. Play the Mountain Brook Spartans. Uh, these guys are seven and two. They got one game still to play, so. Uh, they'll play Friday night against Gardendale, so we'll get a chance to see them play that game. But their only losses on the year to Thompson, who's number one in the state, and Hoover, who's third, I think, are Mountain Brook's two losses. So a very talented football team, uh, very challenging. Kind of remind me of a Ravenwood or Brentwood High type team as far as the, the type of players and, and type of schemes they have. So going to be a challenging uh, first-round opponent for the Falcons, but we're excited to have it at home. And uh, you know, so what? So what are you doing? I mean, so what are you kind of? What has your been your schedule here as of lately? Yeah, so the kids Monday a week, and the coaches have been using this time uh, to prepare. We went ahead and traded film with Mountain Brooks, so they've got all of our games of the season, and we have all of theirs. So plenty of film to watch. Uh, everybody's uh, doing their part as far as breaking down film and getting the game plan ready. Uh, we practiced yesterday and today, and. We'll practice again on Thursday and then give the kids off Friday night and the coaches will travel to Birmingham to watch uh, Mountain Brook play. Um, just what little you know about Mountain Brook and so far in the video you've seen, what do you like about their team, Coach? A uh, very disciplined football team. You know, they're one of those teams, you know, I would even compare them to a Maryville in Tennessee that everybody knows. They're not going to make mistakes. Uh, they're not going to beat themselves. You're going to have to legitimately beat them on the field. Uh, Coach Yeager's been there since 2006, so this is his 14th season at Mountain Brook, and, and they've been a uh, predominantly strong team that all, whole time. Uh, you like your chances, don't you? I mean, you know, we're going to go out there and we're going to compete. It's not going to be easy. You know, it's a 2-3 it's a matchup, and the way the playoffs work in 7-8 Alabama, only 16 teams made the playoffs. So this is basically already a second-round game. Uh, so – going to be very difficult going to be challenging no cupcakes in the play in the seven-day playoffs in alabama uh so we're going to have to play our best in order to come out with a win coach this is the uh this is our last show and everything and uh i just uh i just wanted to say to you i really appreciate you uh and everything um is there anything you'd like to say to the uh, the faculty staff and administration of uh you know falcon the falcon pride and uh, all those people that uh support you coach yeah, absolutely. You no know, first home playoff game in Florence since 2014. Uh, first one ever as a 7A team. Just excited for our community and our town to have this opportunity, and, and hopefully we'll pack out Brawley Stadium and, and make an unbelievable playoff atmosphere for these kids. Coach, uh, we look forward to talking to you, and um, we will talk to you next week. Thanks, Thor. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. Thanks.